everybody, welcome back for a, another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss what I have in my pencil pouch. Now, I have changed my covers that I've been using this year. I started the year in like my Traveler's Factory, Traveler's Notebooks, and then I was in my cork covers by Brie at Documented Journey. And now I'm in a few of my Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebooks. I decided to pull out four of my favorites. Um, and since Foxy Fix no longer exists anymore, um, I thought these would be fun to use because um, it's nostalgic, especially this one. This was my very first Foxy Fix that I ever got. It was when they were on Etsy and it was called Kelly Strong Designs. Uh, I ordered this Christmas day in, um, gosh, 2014. It was a really bright chartreuse color when I got it. I'll try to insert a photo here. Of the original display ad that, that Kelly had for this. Um, it was when you got a, a leather cover with a single elastic. You got like a little charm. You could get embossing if you want. And at that time, the elastic was just wrapped around it. I actually had to put this hole here myself. That's why it doesn't look very good. I used just a little awl that I had. Um, so yeah, and it was before any of their um, stamping and so I, I've been using this to house my uh, art inserts for Patreon that I use myself or make myself. Um, I pulled out my passport. This is one of the last travelers. These three are the last that I purchased from them before they closed. Um, but this is the Rowena leather in passport size with the reinforced spine, and it had the pocket design. And I've been using this for Patreon as well to um, house some of my photos. You might have seen this photo on the um, Zen Art Supply on their Instagram. or their art supplies, but, so I've been using that for Patreon. This is a woodland leather, and I think that's called Amber, and it's a single elastic like the Midori, but it has pockets. And this one is my personal planner. It's got my Planning with John Patreon monthly calendar, it has the dated weekly calendar. I got a Faroof zipper pouch. And then a Planning with John, if I can I put some glue there. <laughs> Planning with John grid insert. And then the last one I've been using, which I think looks really lovely with this pouch that we'll get into. This is a um, Rowena. And everything about it is just like the Woodland one. So this is Traveler's Factory. Um, like a mustard color. I think it came with the camel. But you can see it's got some of my artwork in it. And this I use for Patreon and Kofi and YouTube and all of that. And I've got my monthly calendar, a Foxy Fix dashboard. I've got tons of those. Um, my weekly calendar, all from Patreon exclusive. Um, here we are. Another Faroof <laughs> zipper pouch. I kind of have way too many of these. I also have some Motrims as well. Um, and then a Planning with John dot grid insert. Some Midori stuff. And oh, I did have washi tape on this. A lovely friend sent that to me. 
So, the reason we're here is this cute little pen pouch. It is a bag that I got on Amazon. And the company is Blue Q Bags. And it's 95% uh, recycled material. So I, I kind of like that. So let's take a look and see what I have in here. I've pared down what I carry with me. And you can see that this little bag carries and holds quite a bit. So you can see I've got a little bit of everything. The first thing I have in here is a Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. This is in the color Fawn. And I have had this for about two and a half or so years. Maybe I got it in 2019. Okay, so yeah, two and a half-ish years, almost three. Um, so I've been using that, but I really don't use it that much. Um, I do have this boxy eraser. It's uh, one of those black uh, rubber erasers and um, it's you know, a Mitsubishi. And it's actually a really nice um, eraser. It erases colored pencil, so that's why I keep it around. Um, I have one of the Midori rulers that is also like a compass and you can use it lots of different ways. So it's a Midori multi-ruler. Now this is the Pentel uh, Graph Gear 1000 and it's 0 0.5 and that's why I have this uh, Pilot Neon Graphite or Neox Graphite to go in here and this is one of my favorite pencils for for sketching. I like it because it has this long uh, tip here that's metal and so it makes it so the um, lead doesn't break as easily and then it also has a, um, you can see right here, it says B now, or you can turn it to say H, B, or H, two B, B. So you can actually uh, put whatever type of lead you want in here and it'll let you know. I think, yeah, this is H, B lead. So we're gonna, two B, B. HB, it's an HB lead, so there you go. Now these are something, um, I got these back in February. Um, Brie at Documented Journey has been using a Stadler, one of these, it's called a graphite holder, uh, for a long time. And then, um, so I, I, I liked it and I remembered my dad had them. My dad, um, did a lot of architecture and design and computer-aided like CAD type stuff. And he had a whole bunch, of, I remember playing with his drawing pencils when I was a kid and getting in trouble. Um, and I remember him having these. Um, I should, next time we go home, I should go through his things and look to see if he still has them because with his dementia, he's not using them at all for anything. Um, so I ordered a set that came with an eraser and a pencil. And it also came with like red, blue, and you know, normal graphite for a pencil. And so I've been using this almost exclusively. I haven't used this at all since I got this because I like the um, thickness of it so I can do broader strokes and, or use the pencil sharpener on the top and get really fine point. So there's my pencils. Um, I have, because of Brie, this is a Bolograph ballpoint pencil, and it actually is a really beautiful, or pen, a ballpoint pen. It is a really beautiful pen. I ran out of the black ink refills, um, but I've got a bunch of blue, so I'm using blue. Um, I like black lines usually instead of blue, but they come with blue, and I have a bunch of these blue refills, so I'm just going to continue to use them. This is a Sharpie roller. It's kind of like a needle roller ball with gel ink. 
It's a nice little pen. It's a pen that I give to people when people ask to borrow a pen. This I've had for a long time, but I've never used it. Um, I actually had to take the little nib off, that little glue nib off. It is the Sarasa, uh, Zipper Sarasa Grand in the, um, I think they call it brown gray. And it's a nice weighted pen. It's a really nice pen to, to write with in the color. Um, if you wanna write with something that looks like pencil, but is pen, this is a really good color. These two pens have the same ink in them, but they're different manufacturers. This one is the Uni Pure Malt, where the wood portion of it is wood that comes from the aged barrel of, you know, that had malt or liquor, um, and they're different colors. This is the darker one, I've got a lighter one, and a multi one. Um, I actually have a pencil too, I've got to find where that is. Um, but uh, inside of it, the ink I have is the uh, Pentel Energel in the brown in the 07 because I ran out of the 05, so I'm using the 07. Now this is the Pentel Energel Clena. It says 05, but I ran out of 05s, so I have a 07 in it, and it is also in the brown. That's like my signature color brown ink. See my brown inks? Uh, this is an Arteza, they call it an ink conic, and it's 0 0.4, and it is black, and it's kind of like a um, Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner. It has a um, texture kind of like that, like a triangle, but a little bit more rounded. And they sent me a bunch of these years ago, and I ran my Stadler Black, ran out of ink, so I decided I'd pull these out and use them, so use my stash. Um, this is a Micron Sakura Pigma Micron in 05, and it's archival, and this is in, I think, the sepia color. It's like a, it's a brown, and I really like it. I think it's, an, it, you can see it's brown, not black, but it's like in sepia, I think is what they call it. Sepia, sepia. This is the fountain pen that I take on the go, which I think has dried up, and I need to refill it because I don't use it that often. It is a Twisby, it is the go pen, and it's the one that has the refill where you've got this plunger where you stick it in, press down. I won't do that because we'll get ink everywhere if there's still live ink in it. And it has a pretty nice, you can hold from here to here full of ink. There's that. I do have one book binder clip. I think I got this at Target maybe like four or five years ago. And then some simple washi tape. Um, this is MT. This is MT, the letter M, the letter T. All that just, it's a Japanese brand and all that means is masking tape. And then this is just some washi tape that a friend sent me. And I thought I would put it there because the colors go well. So that is all the stuff that I carry in my little pen pouch, uh, my little gnome bag. And you can see there's, it's very me. It's, there's mushrooms and um, Sasquatch's feet. He's hairy, I'm hairy. <laughs> little gnome, you're kind of a legend and mushrooms and leaves and that's, kind of like me and the things I like to draw. So that's why I, when I was going through my stash, I pulled this one out to use. I have way, way too many pens and pen pouches and I just decided, let's get the fun one out. Take a break from the ones I've been using. And as you can see, like all of this stuff, like Tombows will fit in here, it's that, wide of a bag and see it all folds up nice and neat and it looks beautiful next to this one it looks beautiful next to this one it looks beautiful next to this one and it also looks beautiful next to this or my wallet which is this foxy fix 
So everything I'm using is a Foxy fix. And I think it's because, like, I love my Midoris. I love my Cheek Sparrows. I, I love all my, my notebooks. But um, everybody has notebooks like that. And so I'm kind of enjoying using Traveler's notebooks that are kind of unique at this time because yes, some people have them, but you don't see them frequently because, you know, you don't. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to share with you all today. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will see if I ha can have these items linked in my Amazon store and I will include that in the little dooply doop below. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, and the bookmarks. These are from Charmed Goods. I have two sets that I'm using right now. I've got others, but they're smaller sizes. Those are great. I'll link them as well. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.